Now, if you're experiencing a complete failure of one color channel on an Epson printer, it's quite possible that the reason for the failure is that the spigot that pierces the cartridge, let's take the cartridge out of this Epson R3000, the reason for the failure could be that the end of the spigots, you've got four tiny little holes on the end of the spigots there, they may be blocked up. So a good solution would be to buy a little micro drill. Now you can get these in exactly the same at the correct size from specialistinks.com. And what you do is you you use this drill between put your, your drill between your finger and thumb. Now let's just enter it into the spigot so that you can see. It's very straightforward. It's exactly the right size. So I can actually just put it in and leave it in place as you can see. Now, if you've got a blocked spigot, what you do is you just enter it very carefully, enter it into the, into the one hole and just turn it between your finger and thumb. Now, the beauty of this drill is that it won't allow you to go down too far. So you can actually enter it into all four holes. There is another hole and I'm just turning it round, turning it round and then raising it out. That's the second one clear then the third one, and so on, until all four holes are completely clear. What you then do is to use magic bullet cleaning fluid, which again you can get from specialistinks.com, and you can actually flush through the print head very gently using the magic bullet. So in this case, we're advising you to buy the micro drill from specialistinks.com, and that's the, exactly the correct shape for doing this, this little bit of maintenance. And also, you would buy a little bit of the Magic Bullet uh, cleaning fluid, which comes complete with a, a, a clear tube and a syringe for actually flushing out the, the uh, um, flushing out uh, the head and then once all that's done you can reinsert your your cartridge to the printer single nozzle check and clean should all the all you should need to do to get your printer back to a hundred percent function thank you very much for watching